Porcupine was a fine fellow. He was a trusty friend, a dependable neighbor. The people of Siberia say that one day Porcupine took a walk and went to visit his friend, the Sky King. When he got there, the Sky King welcomed him into Sky House and brought him to sit right near the fire. Oh, they sat down and Sky King served him tea from the samovar and black bread and cheese. And they sat together and told stories. And Porcupine looked, for above the fireplace, on one side, there was a mirror framed in silver and on the other, a mirror framed in gold. And the light from the fire reflected off those mirrors and shone all about Sky House, whose walls were made of glass, and on the floor were fluffy white rugs. That light shone out of Sky House and down onto the earth. Well, after they had visited for a nice long time, Porcupine said he needed to leave. Oh, my friend, you must take with you some gift to remember our visit. What will you take? Oh, just some of that delicious bread and cheese for my, ride, my walk all the way back to Earth. And so Sky King bundled up some food and saw his guest partway down the path back to the Earth. But as they were walking, who should be approaching? But Sky King's brother, Earth King. And Earth King said, I am coming for a visit. Well then, said Sky King, Porcupine, you must come back and we'll have a party. So the three of them sat again by the fire and they shared tea from the samovar and they ate bread and cheese and Earth King sat there and he looked those mirrors above the fireplace. These mirrors, he thought, would look nice where I live. <laughs> and so, when it was time to leave, and Sky King once again, like a good host, said, what gift can I give you, my brother, to remember our visit? Well, Earth King was ready for the answer, he said. I would like those mirrors. My mirrors? But I, Sky King felt that he, he must give what his guest had requested, and so he took the mirror framed in gold, and he took the mirror framed in silver, and he gave them to Earth King, and then he turned away. He did not even have the heart to see his guests leave. Now Porcupine made his way back down to Earth, along with the Earth King, and as they were going, he noticed that the sky was growing more and more dark. Well, Porcupine went back home, and he couldn't tell how long had passed, but darkness settled over the Earth. And his neighbors began to seek him out, saying, Porcupine, what should we do? With all this darkness, our crops will fail, we will starve. And Porcupine knew that he must go and visit Earth King. So he walked into the forest, and he found the cave made of large stones, and down in a hole under the earth he found the door to Earth House. And he visited Earth King, who showed him in and had him sit beside the fire. He served him tea and bread and cheese, and was hoping for a nice visit. But Porcupine said, Earth King, no. Earth King, it's all dark. What are we going to do? Well, well. Uh, and Earth King kept changing the subject. He didn't want to discuss it. And finally, Porcupine said, I must leave now. Well, uh, I must offer you a gift to remember our visit. What will you, what, what would you like? What I would like? Well, 
All this time that Porcupine had been sitting there, his little eyes had been darting all about Earth House, trying to find where those mirrors were. He didn't see them. Until finally, he had seen a basket near the door, and through a crack in that basket, a glint of light. I, I, I'll take the, the basket over there. My basket. Oh, very well. And unwillingly, he gave the basket to Porcupine, who took it and brought it up out of Earth House. And sure enough, there were the mirrors. He ran all the way back up to Sky House and gave the basket to Sky King. Oh, Porcupine. And he took that mirror and he hung it over the hearth. First the mirror framed in gold and then the mirror framed in silver. And as soon as they were restored, well, they once again began to reflect that light from the fire. And the light shone all through Sky House and out onto the earth once again. Mm -hmm. And the people of Siberia say that from that time on, that mirror framed in gold became the sun. And the mirror framed in silver became the moon and their light illuminates the world. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.